pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the public for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Hello Fisher families, this is Dr. George Clyden. I'm the proud principal here at Fisher Middle School. Welcome to our 2021 virtual graduation. I am proud to celebrate our eighth grade students. This has not been your typical school year with most of our school year being in distance learning. But I tell you what, our eighth grade students have persevered, they've been resilient, and they worked tremendously hard this past school year. Plus, over the course of their 6th, 7th, and 8th grade career here at Fisher, they've learned many things that are going to benefit them as they move on to high school. They will also be a part and will forever be remembered as 8th grade classes because this is the ending of Fisher Middle School. Uh, Fisher Middle School, as you may know, will be closing. This will be the last 8th grade class of Fisher Middle School. Fisher Middle School has been around since the 1960s. So, this eighth grade class is going to have a special memory and a fond place in all of our hearts. Welcome and enjoy the ceremony. Hello eighth graders. This is Superintendent Bauer with a very brief but very heartfelt congratulations for this amazing achievement in your path to your career and your professional life. I know that you have done an amazing job in keeping up with your school and finishing up all of your assignments to make sure this day came through. Thank you so much for persevering, for developing so many skills that now you're gonna be able to implement in your future. Thank you for keeping up Thank you for hanging in there through a very, very challenging year, which tells me you're going to be able to achieve great things for our community. From the bottom of my heart, congratulations in this achievement. Thank you. Hola, estudiantes y familias del octavo grado. Soy Hilaria Bauer, su superintendente, deseándoles muchas felicidades por este gran logro de terminar su secundaria durante un año tan, con tantas dificultades y tantos retos. Esto me dice que esta dedicación y esta perseverancia les van a ayudar a todos sus hijos a tener logros muy grandes en su vida y a llevar a cabo su carrera académica con mucho éxito. Les deseo muchas felicidades. Gracias por haber terminado esta secundaria y que tengan un verano muy feliz. Gracias. Welcome to the Clydell Fisher Middle School 2021 graduation. Family, friends, teachers, and my fellow classmates, thank you for coming out and celebrating this day with us. 
Although during these difficult times, we have made it to the finish line to become something notable. My name is Harleen Sani, and I am honored to be the Salivatorian. I would like to thank the staff, teachers, and our principal, Dr. Clyden, for making distance learning possible. I would also personally would like to thank my family and friends who are always there for me and supported me throughout these tough times. It blows my mind how fast time goes and I still can't believe we're going to be high schoolers next year. I remember my first day of middle school, I was so quiet because I didn't know half of the people during that time. Then I went out of my comfort zone and made some friends. I can truly say that this school is a supportive community. Again, congratulations towards the 2021 graduates. We made it through and we're gonna soon become high schoolers and then we're gonna be adults and then we're just gonna be in real life and we're gonna be accomplishing our dreams, which I think is pretty cool. This promotion is an ending to a chapter, which is opening a new chapter. Graduation is an exciting opportunity to celebrate all the hard work you have put into your education. It allows students and their loved ones to recognize a significant accomplishment. We are so close to going into the real world. All of us have huge futures ahead of us. I cannot wait to experience it and watch others accomplish their dreams as well. Thank you again, teachers, parents, friends, and family for coming out to enjoy this wonderful day. I am beyond proud of this graduating class of 2021. Now I would like to hand it to the valid Victorian, Rihanna Strada. Thank you, Harleen, for your remarkable speech and starting things off well. My name is Rihanna Strada, and I am your 2021 class valedictorian for Fisher Middle School. My time here at Fisher was very fun and memorable. There were field trips, school projects, after school activities, dances, charity drives, parents, teachers, student meetings, and numerous award nights. I can easily recall several of those precious experiences, but the field trips were very special and enjoyable. I would like to mention several in particular. At the Tech Museum, we learn a lot about how things are produced and how they work. This trip is probably one of the main reasons some of us already decided to pursue an early interest in technology and engineering careers. Another unforgettable field trip was the Alviso Park, where we learned about the natural habitat of species of fish and birds. This trip was probably one of the main reasons for some of us deciding to pursue an early interest in biology, general science, and environmental careers. Another field trip we attended was the Emma Pruch Park, where we learned how to care for farm animals, such as cows, pigs, chickens, and goats. We also discovered significant plants and trees at the park that are natives to certain parts of the world. Some of us now probably have an early interest in agriculture, veterinary, and botany due to this field trip. At the Levi Stadium field trip, we learned how to choose and eat a healthy diet and do regular exercises, which are good lessons to start while we're still young and were always emphasized by our PE teachers. In addition to the field trips, we also had fun at Fisher with the school dances, spirit weeks, school awards, and after-school activities, such as sports, bands, and fundraising. But Fisher also challenged and taught us valuable life lessons. The challenging classes, group projects, and competitions, such as in the MESA program, taught us to be goal-oriented, work collaboratively, think independently, rise to the challenge, complete all assigned tasks appropriately, and timely, provide excellent work with quality, and to be creative. Along with the positive experiences, we also had major school challenges that we students had to confront. One of the challenges was the sudden interruption of our normal in-person education. For the last year and a half, we students had to experience the main challenge of getting educated and communicating with our teachers and classmates, mostly through online classes. It was a real life lesson and not easy at the beginning, but we students were able to be comfortable and persevere later to the new school setup. Our teachers, staff, and parents were very helpful in keeping us focused and motivated with our education throughout these challenges. But thankfully, our future is turning bright each day as we patiently wait and look forward to going back to school normally. In the meantime, good luck to all my classmates and wishing you all the very best in high school. I am very grateful to all the teachers at Fisher for their hard work, patience, and dedication. 
Furthermore, I want to thank and recognize our school for its legacy of positive education and for being a vital part of our community for years. I and the rest of the graduating class are very proud that we were able to attend and eventually graduate as Saints at Fisher Middle School. Thank you to everyone who's currently watching and please enjoy the rest of the virtual ceremony. Fisher friends, family, staff, and most importantly, the class of 2021, thank you for being here and for giving me the honor to speak with you tonight. I know that this isn't exactly how you expected to celebrate your eighth grade promotion, but the fact that you are here watching anyways means the world to us and our community. In the Marvel movie, Thor Ragnarok, Thor and his father mentioned that their home, their planet Asgard is not a place, it's a people. And ladies and gentlemen, Fisher is so much more than just a school. Fisher isn't just a place where kids learn. Fisher isn't just a place where you eat lunch and play basketball on the, bas on the blacktop with your friends. It isn't just a place you go to five days a week for six to seven hours each day, but Fisher is a people. So if anyone were to come up and ask me to describe Fisher people, I would say that my heart melts every time I think of this group of people. I would say that the Fisher people are resilient, that no matter what struggles they have gone through, whether it be struggles at home, school, in the community, or whatever it is, they have always fought their way to continue to shine. And my wonderful, wonderful graduates of 2021, that is exactly what you are. That is exactly what you show me. You show me that resiliency is real and you show me the true meaning of compassion by the way that you interact with others. You show me the true meaning of family with the way that you continue to take people in out of the goodness of your heart. And you show me that fear is a temporary feeling and that resiliency and strength will always overpower any mountain or any hill that blocks your way. And you show me the strength of the power of community. It is you, graduates, the Fisher people that navigated through a worldwide pandemic. It is you, the Fisher people, that learned and thrived to adjust to any curveball that was thrown your way. And it is you, the Fisher people, that was able to get through any through some of the toughest times in your life. No one ever said that middle school was easy. And if people were to tell me that being a middle school student is a piece of cake, I would tell them that they're wrong. Middle school wasn't always easy. And middle school wasn't always fun. Middle school has its struggles too. And as Fisher people, you fought through the difficulties of middle school cliques, math class, anxiety, fear, you name it. But it is also the Fisher people, that means you, class of 2021, that is growing through it with grace. I've always believed that it is the experiences and the people around us that shape us to be the people that we are, that we will become. And graduates, it is the Fisher people that you met during your middle school years that will shape you into the person you will become one year from now, from five years from now, 10 years from now, and for the rest of your life. So Saints, if there's any last advice I would give you, it would be to continue the Fisher legacy. Teach your new friends, your family members, your future family, all the things you've learned throughout these last couple of years. Teach your neighbors the life lessons you've learned from teachers and friends, and teach all of those around you what it means to be a Fisher Saint. Class of 2021, as I mentioned before, it is the people like you that make Fisher so much more than just a building. It is the people like you that make Fisher more than just a school, and it is people like you that make Fisher a home. There's this saying, Home is where the heart is. And to me, my heart is where the Fisher people are, no matter where they are. Because my wonderful and amazing graduates of 2021, Fisher is so much more than just a place. It's a people. So with that being said, congratulations class of 2021. There couldn't have been a better group of people to celebrate the end of an era than with you. Never forget your roots. Never forget where you came from. And always remember 
Once a saint, always a saint. Congratulations, y'all. Hello, Fisher families and friends, and of course, the class of 2021. I am so excited to be presenting the Student Recognition Awards to all of you today. Um, this first award is the Superintendent's Award. This student has continued to thrive to be a perfect role model for her peers. Her work has constantly been showcased in competitions. She presented a lesson on how to succeed in distance learning to all her peers and the families in the Fisher community. And she worked with other students to take on the National Engineering Design Challenge, challenge knowing that it would require more time and effort on her part as she would have to learn how to program and build the prototype on her own. She's very resourceful and continues to overcome obstacles that come her way. And she uses her talent to good use by informing students to current events, the recordings for the school's weekly announcements. It's hard to beat this student as she is ranked number one in her class, earning a 4.15 cumulative GPA. There's no surprise that this student deserves the Superintendent Award. A big congratulations to Rianne Estrada. This next award is the Principal's Award. This student is a joy to have in class and has a very positive attitude and respectful manner. She has attended multiple MESA meetings to gather additional knowledge even when the meetings are not required of her. She takes initiative in planning meetings and collaborating with teammates as she is very responsive and she is always on top of her work and works hard to get to earn her straight A's. On top of being responsible and dependable academically, the student also showed her compassionate side by participating in our toy drive to bring Christmas joy to our local elementary school students. With a cumulative GPA of a 4.13 and ranking second in her class, I am proud and happy to announce that the principal's award goes to Harleen Saini. This last award is the All Saints Award. The All Saints Award is awarded to a special student who is a, who is a perfect representation of what it means to be a Fisher Saint. This student always takes responsibility for her learning and sets an excellent example for others. She attends every class motivated to learn and advocates for herself when she needs help. During distance learning, she has taken on leadership roles in her classes and has helped her class community a lot during the breakout sessions. For the A Year in Space assignment in science, her group met for hours in the evening to record their video. After many tries, it was still not to their liking, so they met again a week later to record. Talk about perseverance. She uses the, resor she uses the resources provided to her such as tutor.co regularly, and she answered 1,966 questions and gained 320 points on IXL, which is more than three grade levels to an awesome score of 9-10 in a span of just one year. She truly embodies our school values of community, motivation, and perseverance. A big congratulations to Belinda Arzeda Viegas. With that being said, the time has now come where we will be presenting the class of 2021. Erasmo Leva Abrego. Eshjin Jeremoth Afuola. Kimberly Agraz. Tanya Aguirre Castellanos. Fabian Eduardo Arevola. Arevalo Coronado. Belinda Arzeda Viegas. Adrian Joseph Barajas. Francisco Javier Barragan Arguello. Adrian Ricardo Bunch. 
Jessica Bustos Ayala. Samael Camberos Vasquez. Anaya Josephine Marie Cardenas. Jennifer Carrillo. Jasmine Castillo Galindo. Carla Chapina Castellanos. Nancy Johanna Clemente. And Donnie Santino Contreras. Anthony Cortez Suarez. Bruce Alex Crispin Andrade. Allison De La Cruz Orbe. Vaidehi Vamika Devi. Marcos Diaz. Marlene Enriquez. Daniel Espinosa Gonzalez. Rianne Estrada. Jocelyn Evelyn Flores Gonzalez. Javion Bernard Francis. Melani Sina Gaupo Whitworth. Daniel Alejandro Garcia Jovel. Jorge Garcia Reyes. Shirley Ann Gaxiola. Leslie Natalia Gomez. Allison Nicole Guevara. Melanie Nicole Gutierrez. Yesenia Guzman. Reina Henriquez. Riley Hernandez Montano. Santiago Huerta Prado. Kevin Hurtado. Hillary Hurtado Gutierrez. Yannette Lara Luna. Stephen Lee. Salomon Leal Perez. Estrella Linda Ledesma. Malachi Deshan Lavelle. Jose Luis Lopez. Michelle Lopez Diaz. Tin Tan Luong. Daniel Lu.
Don't lie. Daniel Magana. Christopher Cesar Martinez. Anthony Mata Lopez. Ashley Mata Lopez. Eduardo Mata Lopez. Juan Carlos Mata Lopez. Ruby Melgoza Mesa. Christian Mendez Garcia. Angel Gabriel Menocal Ruiz. Heaven Eliana Mora Corona. Andrew Jace Morales. Juan Diego Murieta Rojas. Rachel Nguyen. Tran Min Duk Nguyen. Jesus Alberto Ochoa. Angel Gabriel Odilon Castaneda. Fernando Pacheco Zaranda. Christina Paul. Vanessa Guadalupe Pavia Vasquez. Destiny Michelle Pedrisco. Valerie Allison Perez. Delaney Celine Ponce. Ding Kwa Hai Kwok. Ashley Jocelyn Ramos. Jaden Raul Renteria. Brian Alexander Rivera. Jacqueline Robles Cordova. Luis Eduardo Rodriguez Hernandez. Harleen Carsaini. Walberto Soberanes Velasquez. Daisy Asusena Solorio Peralta. Haley Tinajero. Ishmael Valdez Ortiz. Edwin Alexander Valencia. Yoslin Camila Vargas Nunez. Soraya Vasquez Javier. Daisy Vasquez Moreno. Kaylee Madueno Webb.
Alex Everardo Zamora Vasquez. Andrea Zamora Zaragoza. Fisher Class of 2021, now Overfeld High School's Class of 2025. It is my honor and privilege to welcome you all to the Eastside Union High School District. There are so many opportunities for each of you, each student, as you prepare for your futures. I know this year has not been as you expected and definitely not how you imagined your eighth grade would be. If anything though, this year has made you stronger and I know that you're ready. Your time at Fisher has prepared you. You are ready for high school. I'm looking forward to seeing you over the summer or during CSI and watching you learn and grow over the next four years. Congratulations, go Royals. I would like to present to you the eighth grade class of 2021, your Fisher Saints.